Good afternoon and welcome to Dinner Church Homestyle. Glad Hello. you could join. Hi, <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> Backyard edition. Backyard edition. Yes. That was Look. rough not having you the last Dinner no Church. Food. No food. Where's the food? Oh, I can show you the food if you want. Um, this week's shameless plug is Giacomo's Spack and Kill. Uh, best chicken parm heroes ever. <laughs> I can get the bag open. Anyway, at some point we'll have chicken parm sandwiches <laughs> from Giacomo's. That's our dinner. Um, and dessert was brought to us by Simon and Leanne when they came up to look at this from Adam's. So this is totally not a home-cooked meal. So you want to start with our highs and our lows? Sure. All right. Uh, what's your What's your low for the week? Well, the low for the past week was that you had to do dinner church by yourself last week because I was out of commission. <laughs> that was a low, all right. <laughs> and uh, that was my low to too. Say, Lord have mercy. Thank, Thank you. you. High for the week. I think that's easy. Simon came Did up. Did you have a low? Oh. My low for the week was the same thing. I had to do uh, dinner, church, dinner church, church by myself. It wasn't as good. No, it was not <laughs> nearly as good. So, um, <laughs> yes, everybody knows they tolerate me because of you. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but the high was Simon and Leanne came up to see us uh, on on uh, Sunday, uh, Saturday, and that was just was it Saturday or Sunday? They came up over the weekend. Sunday. Sunday, it was Sunday they came up. I'm not used to not working all day Sunday, so it's kind of weird. But they were up, and it was really great to see them, and, and they brought us chocolate, so that's, you know, all that matters. And strawberries. So, hallelujah for Simon and Leanne and strawberries and chocolate. Hallelujah. Is that your high, too? Yeah. Okay, so we have the same lows, the same highs. That's good. So, um, we're going to have some food. Have some food, and we'll be right with you. Maybe you should see Grace. Right, since we haven't eaten food yet. <laughs> so grace for, for you at home and for us here. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Uh, now I can pray. Let us pray. God, we give you thanks for this time together around this table and around all of our virtual tables in our own homes. Guide us this evening. Uh, bless this time together and our food that we share. Help us to um, remember you, to love you and love our neighbors, and give us the patience we need to get through this pandemic crisis uh, together. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Now, we'll be right back. And we're back. So, that was a great, that was a great sandwich. Yes. Uh, Giacomo's, you're my hero. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to pop the text up here on our screen so we can read you the text we're going to study. And here we go. This is from Romans 6, verses 1b through 11. Paul writes, Should we continue in sin in order that grace may abound? By no means. How can we who died to sin go on living in it? Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Therefore, we have been buried with him by baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we will certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that the body of sin might be destroyed, and we might no longer be enslaved to sin. For whoever has died is freed from sin. But if we have died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. We know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. Word of God, word of life. Thanks, Thanks be to be God. God. All right, let's close this. Um, so, what? Yeah, you have some thoughts on that text, right? Yeah, I. I think a lot of. There's a lot of questions about how can we be death. Dead, dead to, to sin. sin, because uh, we sin all the time. <laughs> right. You know, I mean, nobody is infallible. 
Uh -huh. um, so if we are dead to sin, like this text says, how can we still sin? And it's there's a there's this sort of like this this conundrum that we're in, right? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Half the people are saying, "Oh, if we're dead to sin, that we cannot sin," and the other mm -hmm. half right. is like, "Oh, well, there's grace, right? You know, so it doesn't matter what we do, right? Uh, That's so how Paul starts we, that we can just section. sin, you know, so because there's grace, so hey, we're all forgiven, you know. There's sort of this dichotomy yep. between the two sides and Mm -hmm. I think dead to sin is sort of like the 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 desire, our desire to mm -hmm. not sin, right? Knowing very well that we <laughs> we trip and fall right. all the time, but that that we are striving mm -hmm. to lead a better life mm -hmm. because if Jesus died to atone for our sins. Mm -hmm. There's nothing really more that we could do to show our love for him than to try to live a good um, life and honor sort of mm -hmm. the the sacrifice in a way that shows that we're trying that we're trying our best steps every single day. And Luther sort of said Mm -hmm. We die to our sins every day. Every day. Meaning every day is a fresh start. Every day is a new oh, baptism. I, she, I should write your sermons. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> she should. So, right. There. Did you yeah. have anything else to say about this? Why, text? no. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> Commentary provided by Marley's Brandt, LCSW. Sorry. So, that's okay. No, it's great. It's great input. Yeah, well, I think, you know, he starts that text off that way by saying, you know, should we should we go ahead and keep sitting because so that grace may take over? Because I know a lot of people say that. It's not really what what being what being dead to sin is, is that um, it no longer has ultimate power over us. And also, we're dead to sin in God's mind, in God's eyes. You know how when somebody has a... This is so cute that the Carolina is playing right I know. <laughs> Pay so, no attention to the Caroline. It's not really playing. It's not if, really six o'clock on Tuesday. If you, if you pay attention <laughs> and figure out which song it is, you can actually figure out which that you're singing here. That's true. Because <laughs> ah. it's not Wednesday. It's not Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, geez. Spoiler. <laughs> <coughs> it's really. Actually, on Wednesday at six, the bells go off too. But I know. But you might be. You guys might be listening to this before six. Anyway. Um, now we totally did. Now you totally got me off the track. <laughs> what I was trying to say was, when you have a, there's a squirrel. There's a squirrel. What can I say? So, um, <laughs> distracted by the ball. Good. So, when a relationship, sometimes you heard people say when a relationship is over, you know, they say you're dead to me. I'm never going to pay attention to you again as long as you live, right? People say you're dead to me. That's what the phrase kind of means, is that in, in God's eyes, um, you know, God's like, I'm not going to consider sin anymore because, I, you know, Christ is atoned for that. So we're all dead to sin in God's eyes. And Christ died to pay the price for, so his death and resurrection take care of the sin, not us. So... We are dead to sin because Christ made it so, not because we actually stopped sinning. But God is basically saying, that's all dead to me, I'm, I'm ignoring it in a way. So, But it still doesn't mean we should keep doing that, because if we have real faith in what Christ did and what God wants for us to be, then we'll be consistent with that and we'll live our lives rejecting the notion of sin as much as possible. Right. And when it does happen, we we feel frustrated and sad and remorseful and want to turn back toward God, you know, so right. that, that whole, the, that whole the, living a new life is the possibility of having a new life today, even though you're not perfect, because Christ did this for us. Right. That's how Lutherans see um, Yeah, and I think it's that. important that, that we, <laughs> we don't always feel like, you know, that every day can be a fresh start. That yeah. We, yeah. we don't have yeah. this sort of checkbook of check marks right right we've never we you never know, i don't know anybody that does like, like keep a, yeah keep, keep score <laughs> yeah. so 
<clears throat> yeah, no, it's true. And, and I think, yeah, the, the whole idea that scorekeeping is no longer happening. And he's saying that this new life is possible through Christ, not through us. And so we're, we're, not, we're not compelled and enslaved by and trapped by our sinful nature anymore because of Jesus. So that, I, that's, that's, that helps me remember who, who did this. You know? So I feel a little better about being human. I don't feel the need to be perfect anymore, um, but I do feel a great responsibility to, to be as good as I can be yeah. and to, to <clears throat> honor God through um, that respect and, and prayer. And, and that makes communion all that more, much more important for me. So that's my thoughts. Um, so I appreciate that. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, so... Um, I'd ask you for thoughts at home, but you can't talk to me because I'm taping. <laughs> so there. So um, think about that. It's a really fascinating text. Um, so um, in the meantime, so now we it's time to do our intercessory prayers for the world and for the church, right? So um, uh, the Lord be with you. You can eat while I'm doing the prayers, yeah. <laughs> Let's pray. Yeah. For the world, Lord, as we continue to walk through this pandemic, um, help us walk through it together. Give us the strength and the patience we all need to stem the tide of this virus and guide all the practitioners to find a vaccine. Lord, in your mercy. In our prayer. In our prayer. For our local community, for our county, for New York State, um, for all the people in, in Poughkeepsie, we pray that, that um, you would walk with us, especially right now, in the midst of all of these uh, the protests and the injustice that's happening everywhere. We pray that you would warm our hearts to, to find ways to connect and reconcile with people with whom we've been estranged, that we would find ways to promote justice and mercy and grace, and that we would respect all of your creation equally. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah, we are a prayer. <clears throat> For those first responders and emergency personnel who continue to risk their lives every day on behalf of those who are in need and, and sick with the virus, um, and for those we know who are ill right now in the hospital or in nursing homes or at home, um, lift them all up into your loving arms and, and let them know you're with them and help all the caregivers to be strong. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. we are a prayer. For all those who have died and now rest eternally with you, especially this week, we offer up Ray Ellery and his family and pray that you would give the family strength and give all of us strength to, to help them carry on with this great loss. Um, guide all of us into your presence that one day we might rest eternally in peace with you as well. Lord, in your mercy, yeah, hear our prayer. prayer. Into your hands, Lord, we commend these and all for whom we pray, trusting in your great mercy and grace. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. And now may the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's just share the peace. Be with you. Be with you. <clears throat> My dog is not coming. She's busy with a stick, so sorry, Noodle. So take a moment to share the peace with each other at home. Send a text. Make a call. Let somebody know that God cares about them as well. Um, she is in the picture. She is in the picture. There around. she is. <laughs> Noodle's going to need a bath, so that might be our low for this coming week. <laughs> so anyway. Um, and now, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon each one of you with favor and grant you peace. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being with us and tuning in, and, and we'll see you again maybe Sunday or next week at Dinner Church. Take care and have a great week. <laughs>